a short informational video is on the mycotoxin profile, a lab that is offered through Lab Test Plus. So the mycotoxin profile assesses for various common and medically relevant mycotoxins. And mycotoxins, importantly, are chemical compounds produced by certain mold organisms, which can have toxic effects within the body. So molds like Aspergillus, Fusarium, Stachybotrys, Penicillium, produce various mycotoxins really as a defense mechanism against other molds or sometimes insect predators. But within our bodies, and that would also just be mammals in general, there can be adverse health problems that can develop. And that could just be fatigue, kidney and liver issues, neurological problems, headaches. But in some cases, even cancer can occur over time because of prolonged mycotoxin exposure. So the mycotoxin profile only detects the presence of mycotoxins. They do not diagnose an illness or disease that is associated with exposure. So this is a typical mycotoxin profile. We've got elevated aspergillus, mycotoxins of aflatoxin, ochratoxin, gliotoxin, all of which can become toxic to the immune system or ochratoxin, for example, is toxic within the kidneys. Gliotoxin is toxic to the immune system. As I mentioned, aflatoxin has various toxicities. And niacin B and Rorid and E are more rare mycotoxins that can be linked to Fusarium and Stachybotrys mold, but the presence of these are significant because it does indicate some type of environmental exposure. So the mycotoxin profile is collected from a first morning urine, so it's easy to do at home. And again, the detection of mycotoxins is important for anyone seeking information about the potential for mold toxin exposure that could be occurring either from your primary residence, work, school with kids, for example, or sometimes even foods, but that's really in limited capacity. What that means is, is certain mycotoxins that come from stachybotrys are not found in food. And I think most food, particularly here in North America, is not overly contaminated with mycotoxins because our regulatory agencies do a pretty good job at regulating against excess mold exposure. Now, based on the information from the mycotoxin profile, further assessment is often recommended, like a home mold evaluation. So that is also something to consider. For more information about the services that are offered through Lab Test Plus, as well as a list of labs, you can go to labtestplus.com. Thank you.